tried it, uh, so you don't have to. Talk of the town. And I was the talk of the town because Patrick pinches butts. <laughs> a butt pincher. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for this video, I thought we'd fall into the fun realm of BuzzFeed quizzes. Now these are some trivia quizzes. So we'll just test our general knowledge and see how well we do. So why don't we dive right on in and get to some quizzes. All right, so can you name all 12 Greek gods and goddesses on Mount Olympus? There were many Greek gods and goddesses, but the 12 Olympians were the main gods and goddesses that presided on Mount Olympus. Can you name them? Well, let's find out. You have one minute to get it. Go. So we're going to go with Zeus. Yes. Aphrodite. Yes. Um, Poseidon. I can't spell. Poseidon. Yes. Uh, not Hades. No. Uh, we've got Hermes. Yes. Uh, we've got Athena. Yes. Oh, dear. We have... Oh, gosh. What about the messenger god? Oh, my gosh. Who was that? That was, uh, the guy with the feather wings. Um, what about the goddess of the hunt? That's not Athena. That was wisdom. A hunt. Who's the hunt goddess? Uh, oh my goodness. I'm... What about the one th who throws lightning? I did Zeus. Uh... Hera? Yes. Oh, I'm done. So I got six out of the twelve. So that's not bad. But let's see who they all were. So I forgot Apollo. Ares, Artemis, Demeter, Demeter, Hephaestus, or Hephaestus, Hestia slash Dionysus. Oops. Oh, well, I think six out of 12. Half is pretty good. Why don't we move on to the next quiz? So below are 20 famous actors from old Hollywood films. All you have to do is correctly match their face to their name. Good luck. So we've got this guy, James Dean, Paul Newman, Robert Redford, or Rock Hudson, it's James Dean. Correct. We've got this woman, Katherine Hepburn, Audrey Hepburn, Grace Kelly, or Lauren Bacall, it's Audrey Hepburn. Correct. We've got this lady, is it Shirley Temple, Judy Garland, Ava Gardner, or Vivian Lee? I think Ava Gardner. That was Judy Garland. I thought it looked like Judy Garland, but an older Judy Garland, I guess. Uh, Mickey Rooney, Walter Brennan, Charles Coburn, or Dan Daly? Mickey Rooney? Correct. Oh, this lady. Vivian Lee, Katherine Hepburn, Vera Mills, or Kim Novak? That's Katherine Hepburn. Correct. This guy. Harry Belafont, Paul Robson, James Edwards, or Sidney Poitier? Isn't that Sidney Poitier? Correct. Oh, Tony Curtis, Humphrey Bogart, Gary Cooper, Jimmy Stewart. That's Jimmy Stewart. Correct. This guy, Cary Grant, Clark Gable, Gregory Peck, or Burt Lancaster. Isn't it Gregory Peck? Correct. This lady, Lena Horne, Dorothy Dandridge, Ruby D, or Diane Carroll. Or Diane Carroll. My gosh, I can't read. Lena Horne? No, it is Dorothy Dandridge. This guy, Errol Flynn, Henry Fonda, Gene Kelly, or John Carradine. Carradine. Henry Fonda? Correct. This lady, Rita Moreno, Claudette Colbert, Linda Crystal, or Sophia Loren. Sophia Loren? No, it was Rita Moreno. This lady, Rita Hayworth, Jean Harlow, Greta Garbo, or Carmen Miranda. Isn't it Rita Hayworth? Correct. This guy, George Sanders, Mickey Rooney, Ernest Borgnine, or Edmund, Edmund Gwen. Ernest Borgnine? Correct. This lady, Ann Baxter, Joanne Woodward, Barbara Stanwyck, or Greer Garson. I think it's Barbara Stanwyck. Correct. This lady, Louise Beavers, Hattie McDaniel, Lena Horne, or Ethel Waters. Isn't it Hattie McDaniel? Correct. This lady, Betty Davis, Joan Crawford, Ann Baxter, or Celeste Holm. Isn't it? It's a mix for me between Betty and Joan Crawford. 
Joan? It was Betty. Ah! This guy, Jack Crookshin, Barry Fitzgerald, Jack Warden, or Charles Coburn. I think it's Barry Fitzgerald. Incorrect, Jack Crookshin. This lady, Thelma Ritter, Celeste Holm, Ethel Barrymore, or Josephine Hull. I think it's Ethel Barrymore. No, it's Thelma Ritter. This guy, Cesar Romero, Jose Ferrer, Ronald Coleman, or Richard Burton. Is it Cesar Romero? No, it's Jose Ferrer. This guy, Robert Redford, Rock Hudson, Paul Newman, or Marlon Brando. It's Paul Newman. Correct. I got 13 out of 20 correct. You scored better than 53% of all other quiz takers. You aced this. Ah, you were so close to a perfect score. You definitely know your old Hollywood actors. And I bet your TV continually stays on Turner Classic Movies. Good job. I'd say that was pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. So our next quiz is these eight game show contestants had hilariously bad answers. Can you get their questions right? So this contestant had a major brain fart that I'm pretty sure made Steve Harvey's side cramp from laughing so hard. Name something that follows the word pork. You pine. Pork you pine. Okay, so your turn. Name one of the top six answers of name something that follows the word pork. Isn't it tender? Nope. Pork loin? Pork loin. Pork chop was the top answer, though. Here we go. This contestant was so desperate to solve the puzzle, he turned to an unconventional phrase. Can you do better? So, fish love? Uh, it is wish list. Correct. Here we go. If Andy yearns for Barbara and Brenda cares for Charlene, who pines for Andy, the three of these form one of these. She said, what is a threesome? It is actually a love triangle. Correct. Here's another one. This contestant wanted to bring a little edge to Wheel of Fortune, despite already guessing a P. A group of pill pushers. This is a group of well-wishers. Correct. A Christian hymn and a Jewish holiday hymn are both titled this, also the name of a 2009 Tony nominated musical. What is Kinky Boots? Uh, a Christian ham, a Jewish holiday ham. Oh, oh, a Christmas, Christmas Carol? I don't know. What is it though? Rock of Ages, interesting. This contestant was so under pressure that they seem to forget the name of Winnie, the lovable, huggable, silly old bear. Can you do better? Real or fictional, name a famous Willy, Willy the Pooh. Name a famous Willy, Willy Wonka. Willie Nelson was the top answer though. Ken here gave a pretty valid answer to this question, though it wasn't the right one. This term for a long handled gardening tool can also mean an immoral pleasure seeker. What's a hoe? And it is what is a rake. And finally, name something you feel before you buy it. Excited. Uh, we're going to go with fruit. Correct, and that was the top answer. So I scored seven out of eight. You definitely should be on a game show. You would make bank. Well, that's also because I've seen all these game show fails, so I know a lot of the answers. Why don't we move on to our final quiz? So, could you actually win a million dollars if you were on a Disney who wants to be a millionaire? Let's find out. What does Hakuna Matata mean? Does it mean no worries? Delicious bugs, all for one, or long live the king? It means no worries. What does the evil queen demand as proof of Snow White's death? A lock of her hair, her eye, her head, her heart. Her heart. Correct. What stitch is experiment number? 265, 626, 625, or 262? It's 626. Correct. What color is the magical flower from Tangled? Purple, golden, silver, blue. Isn't it golden? Correct. What kind of creature is Tamatoa? from Moana. A crab, a rooster, a hawk, or a snail. Isn't it a crab? Correct. What does Alice consume in 
Alice in Wonderland to grow bigger. Tea, cake, potion, or carrot. Isn't it cake? Correct. What's the first song in The Little Mermaid? Part of our, your world, Daughters of Triton, Kiss the Girl, or Fathoms Below. Isn't it Daughters of Triton? Incorrect. It's Fathoms Below. I would have won $2,000. Well, you know what? I will take that. That was question I don't even know, but it's okay. $2,000 isn't that bad. And there you have it. Those were just some fun trivia quizzes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And why don't you let me know how well you did in the comments down below. I'm always interested to find out. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.